Hey, 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 good morning. I'm here with my fish friend still and the blue she crab. So, another beach day, hop it on. Good morning to everybody. Today's video title is What kind of mortgage do your parents have? Because we're talking about questions we should be asking our aging parents to be successful as the kids helping them and for them to be successful as our aging parents. But first things first, if you are watching on YouTube, it's my first and last name. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and leave me a comment. And if you're watching on any other social media, say hey and drop a comment for me. So I know you're there. All right, the next question we're on, we're on like a series of questions we're asking. What you need to find out what kind of mortgage your parents have. And it's kind of a loaded question because some of them could have paid off mortgages so they don't have a mortgage. I guess some could have a paid off first mortgage but have a second mortgage. That's an option, I think. Um, you could also see if they have a reverse mortgage. They were popular for like the last 20 years that people were cashing out their equity and taking it now for illnesses and things. And then I got to do a little more research on those. But then I think when they pass, the mortgage company gets the house, not the heirs to the estate. So you need to find out if they have one of those because... I would be doing some fixing of that. Um, then you can find out if they have like a balloon payment mortgage is where they have less pay lower payments. And then there's a huge balloon payment due at the end. I don't know. I think those are still around. I know that they had car payments like that still within the last 15, 20 years. So it may be a thing. I think my grandparents' mortgage was like that. Which was really weird because all of a sudden you had like the last payment, everything was due for like a remainder of half a mortgage. Because you know most mortgages you pay the interest forever and little towards the equity. Alright, let's see what else I have for mortgage. So you just need to get in there and find out what kind. Oh, there's interest only mortgages where people are putting nothing towards um, the balance. They're just paying the interest. So it's all questions you need to be asking because you want to be turning them into something new where they're still alive and they can make decisions or seeing what is the best option or seeing if they should pay it off so then they don't have to worry about it. See, start, start asking the questions so you can see what's going to be the best answer and the best solutions. And most of it all comes from just asking the question and finding out because then you know what you're dealing with. If you know what you're working with, then you know how you can solve the problem. Like I've told my daughter over and over again, I tell her to say out loud, I'm the best problem solver I know. And guess what happens? You become the best problem solver you know. But you need to ask some questions first in order to know if there's even a problem that needs to be solved. So that's your task for the day. Find out for your aging parents what kind of mortgage you have. And if you're the aging parents, talk to your kids today and let them know what kind of mortgage you have. So you can see if that's the best thing that you need going forward in your golden years. And it will also need to know what you have in your estate planning. So I will see you guys all tomorrow. Me and the little colorful fish up there. And remember, I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.